And we're on. We're on. Hi, Hi, everybody. It's Dara. And Herbie. Hi. And it's the Dara and Herbie show. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and we're raw vegan. Not always raw, but definitely always organic vegan. Yes. Herbie's been organic vegan for seven months, seven months counting now. And while I'm making this gorgeous food I'm about to make, he can tell you the things that have gotten better in his life, physically, spiritually and emotionally right before you get into it i'm just going to announce what i'm making which is it's an airplane very close so i'm making kale is the salad now the interesting thing about this is that this is the beginnings of making kale chips so you either can turn this into kale chips and dehydrate it or eat it right away as a salad and we're going to have this right away as a salad yes yes we're not going to wait for any dehydration so basically the, the sauce or the dressing is going to be hemp, a hemp seed, so it's going to be a creamy dill dressing with a little bit of garlic and a little bit of salt. So the dressing is only going to be hemp seeds, fresh dill, which I will only add after I blend the hemp seeds, the salt, and the garlic. So we get the creamy white dressing. That smells great. We chop, yeah, we chop up the dill and we fold it in so we don't turn the dressing mint green. We just have little flecks of green oh. in our dressing. Right. So hit it, Herbie. Ta-da! <laughs> hit it. How do you feel? I'm, uh, I'm super. I, uh, I couldn't be happier because I, I feel as if... Um, Way ahead of the game at my age. Oh, let me clip this on. <laughs> okay, go ahead. That's cute. <laughs> and uh, in, in terms of uh, both my health, uh, how well my, uh, my head is cleared and uh, some of the thinking I'm able to, uh, and, and um, decisions I'm able to be making, mm -hmm. and even some little things like the other day I just realized uh, it takes me no time at all to button a shirt, whereas before I, it used to take me over five minutes because of my fumbling of my fingers. Because arthritis similar. or just not a nimbleness? Like well, a, a combination, not a, maybe it's arthritis or it's possibly it could be the uh, carpal tunnel in right. the left hand. And now you move your fingers. Oh, it, it, you know, it, uh, it's, it hasn't disappeared, but, uh, uh, but you know, it, it just... Life is so much easier and better, yeah. and then I have such a, a wonderful team of human beings who Dara has helped assemble that to make my body over, but because they're such great and loving people, it, it's also much more than the body. It, 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 it's, it's being with people who show love, and, yes. and, and I can give love to them. I mean, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's very, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very satisfied. Things are going on. Uh, there's, uh, I, I don't know how long of a story I could tell, Go but, ahead. What tell but what story. happened on Friday uh, mm -hmm. when uh, we, uh, when the Dara's ex was very sweet, he couldn't make a a, a fundraising that he had uh, purchased some tickets to, mm -hmm. and he offered them to Dara and myself, and uh, Dara graciously accepted and. Uh, and in the back of my own mind, I didn't know what kind of charity it was, but I didn't know whether they were going to be auctioning off pictures or rugs or some business people were going to donate some kind of uh, uh, properties that they uh, have control over and so on. And so in my own mind, I said, that, well, we're going to a charity thing. If it's really a great charity in my mind, you know, I'm sure all charities are terrific. But and, and there's actually more of them than I have hair on my head and I don't have that much hair and they're all very good and doing great things. So in my own mind, I said, uh, I'm going to uh, figure if I see something that even though I'm decluttering my, my apartment all the time or trying to, uh, that anywhere from 250 to $500 that I would maybe uh, purchase something or donate whatever. And here we go into this magnificent house, which I've never been in a home as, as gorgeous and, uh, and unique in its architecture. Uh, and uh, just to give you an idea that uh, we walked in and you walk in through a, a three-car garage, 
but it's a much bigger than that, and half of its roof is no roof. It's uh, open to the sky, and that sets the tone that when you walk in the home, that in two different uh, combinations of, if you want to go from room A to room B, or go from room C to D, there was like a water moat that must have been 20 feet by around five or six feet. Mm -hmm. And in order to get from uh, A to B or C to D, you had to step on stones. Yes, and in the middle, I, I decided to cross it, and everything's dim, and the water's all lit up, and there's stones across, and I decided to cross, and halfway, I meet a woman. I mean, you can't, you can't not, I mean, she, she hugged me. It was, the party was thrown by Rosario Dawson and her sister, and it was a raw food affair to raise money for children, women and girls in Sierra Leone. So I'll post the link to their charity and what they're up to. But in the middle, I was like, here you are. And she gave me a big hug. She was so warm. Mm -hmm. And I crossed the waters. Right. But <laughs> I, I walked around where you can walk on terra firma. <laughs> he didn't want to be falling into any water. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we had so much fun. There was beautiful yeah. African music and beautiful people and all for a really good cause. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then when they explained what the... Uh, charity was, you know, it was very interesting, but the first person they introduced had nothing to do with the charity, but it was a superhuman being, a human... Uh, Are you human talking about the Wonder Bag? Yes. Sarah Collins. Okay, so yes. Sarah, Sarah makes... Collins. We, this is this is what it looks like when you get it in the mail, and you have to puff it up. And That's the Wonder it Bag. It's the Wonder Bag, and what it is is like a cozy, like a cozy for a pot. Her grandmother used to cook in um, in a pot in South Africa, but instead of keeping the pot on the stove to save firewood, she would wrap it in blankets and comforters and keep the pot warm so that she'd only have to cook for 15 minutes and the pot would keep cooking for hours, up to 12 hours. So Sarah decided to come up with the Wonder Bag. I'll post the link below. And so someone, it's brilliant for a number of reasons. In South Africa, there are children being sent out to get firewood, and some of them do not come home. The boys don't come, up, come home. They can get taken off to war. The young girls can get raped. They still come home. And Sarah is an, a conservationist by nature and a lover of the people and children of South Africa. So this wonder bag prevents them having to go out and get the extra resources, wood. get get extra wood. The so burn. it's yeah. So so it saves and the children. They only have to go out two times a month, and it also saves the uh, resources, the wood, and it also. Um, it, it has to do with cooking because they have most of them have very small huts, based on when you live in America or or Europe, or, and you, you know what a, a an apartment is or a home. We're okay. here, these people are with a mud floor and all that, mm -hmm. uh, that when they're cooking, because they're cooking so many hours and with the wood burning, it creates a smoke yeah, that, that is detrimental to anyone's health because yes. the smoke stays there. Now, yes. because of the Wonder Bag, it, they only have to cook it 15, 20 minutes yeah, or something like bring that. bring it to a boil. And, and, then, and, and then so they don't need much of a fire. Mm -hmm. So what happens is now there's less smoke and there's carbon dioxide that's thrown off mm -hmm. by smoke that children were getting either very ill, losing uh, their sight, some of them. Some of them, were, uh, uh, their journey ended at a very young age because of this environment. So this is a uh, unbelievable thing that... Uh, Sarah so is doing. is doing. So Herbie and, and, decided to. And, and, uh, and, and she's my, she's my humanitarian award so of 2014 and maybe for, yeah. And she's Just, beautiful. You could see when she speaks so soulful. So Herbie decided. I'm going to say it for you. Herbie decided to buy um, ten sets. Ten ten of them. Yeah. When you buy each set, you get two of the wonder bags. Yeah. One for yourself. Okay. And one goes to Africa. So he so, decided to only take three, one for me, one for my ex-husband Jeffrey, and one for him, and 17 go to Africa. So Sarah's assistant, Angela, hi Angela, delivered it. We had a lovely time talking. We shared a tonic. Um, in March, she's going to come back. Sarah's going to come back and do a video with us and talk about it. But we really, I mean, that well, really made the evening, yeah, didn't well, it? Uh, right. It, uh, it was $50 a set, so the 10, ten sets times 50 was 500 and that 
fit in what my thinking was before I even it's got very there. Very generous of you. Yeah. And, and so basically, when I brought it home, I said to Jada, "Look, this it's wonderful because Herbie, we had the crockpot idea, but you still have to worry about the, either the digital numbers or Herbie leaves it on too long; it gets crusty and too cooked. So now Herbie can cut up his vegetables. I can cook them for 15 minutes. We put the pot in the wonder bag. He can take it downstairs and enjoy it warm." Mm -hmm. Now, Jada said, my daughter said, well, thank God, because she knows, since I'm a raw foodist, if I turn the stove on, there's a very good chance that that stove will stay on and burn the pot. So we are, it's a win-win situation. Right. So I'm going to blend this. Hold on. Okay. And, uh, uh, but should I... Uh, something. I just yeah. want to say something about this dressing. So I'm making it creamy, I'm making it salty, I'm making it garlicky. Then at the bottom of my one bowl salad, we're going to do the same one bowl salad, I put the dressing, I fold in the dill, and then I fold in the kale or any other greens that you want to choose. So I just want to make sure it's salty enough, which it is. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to put a little more salt. Okay. <laughs> a little bit more. I love that the Himalayan pink salt. Me too. With the, I have that with my tomatoes and the uh, cucumbers. All right, now we're on. So you can keep talking. Okay. Holding in the dill. I uh, wanted to tell you this sweatshirt that I'm working wearing <laughs> is uh, that W stands for weak wake. Uh, that's a Indian tribe that was. Uh, Settled somewhere in the uh, where New York, the city of Newark, New Jersey is many, many years ago. And um, high school was built there in Newark, and um, they, they named that one Week Wake High School. And the fame that came to Week Wake was that that was the high school that Philip Roth, the famous author, went to. And his brother was a classmate of mine. And, but I didn't really know him, but I know he was a classmate, and that was back in 1946 that I graduated high school. That's good storytelling. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right, storytelling with Herbie. <laughs> so on top of the carpal tunnel being um, relieved, your spinal stenosis pain has been relieved. Herbie, mm -hmm. for those of you who don't know, when I went to New Jersey in July, Herbie couldn't walk two blocks without feeling enormous pain. And now he's buzzing around the farmer's markets, going for long walks, and standing taller. So the pain, and I'm also going to post the link of Herbie below. Herbie, two years ago, when I went to visit him in New Jersey, I have a video of him, and it's remarkable, the change. You saw that, yes? Yes. Do you see the change? Yes. It's still a Herbie, but... <laughs> it's still Herbie! <laughs> But, uh, it's a, it, it, it's, but it, it's a it, real it's, Herbie. It's, uh, as I mentioned before, if I could uh, uh, take something from what the born-again Christians <laughs> are, that um, I have a born-again body, and, uh, it, it, and it's much better than what I had seven months ago, believe me. And it, uh, it, or two and, years ago. Or two years ago. Well, yeah. The, you know, I, I think I said it before that uh, as you age, you kind of expect, well, gee, it's kind of normal to have pains and so on, and you learn how to cope. But <laughs> when I found out uh, that what was happening with, with going on the raw vegan uh, organic uh, uh, diet, uh, well, it, 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 it's just amazing. And the old story, if the person doesn't want to do it or improve, then no one can do it for you. And uh, that goes for anyone. God forbid, who may be a, an alcoholic or a druggie, that that person really wants to have to change his life. Otherwise, no one can do it for him. Right. And that's the same thing with taking food. Because the old story going back to you are what you eat. Whoa. Herbie's going to be creamy dill kale salad. <laughs> hey. Creamy dill kale salad. Want a bite? Why not? Now, I put in two dates. I want to put in, I want to make it a little sweeter. The sweet balances, so put in a couple dates or a little bit of honey or a little bit of maple syrup to make it sweeter, but it's going to be Very delicious. Good. Right, Herbie? Besides being good, you know that you're, you're eating something that's, that's helping your body. And uh, right. you can't beat that feeling. At least I can't. 
right? You mm -hmm. can't beat that feeling to just know that you are fueling yourself with the nutrients that your cells need. So it's about nutrient. Go ahead. I could tell you want to say something. Well, it, <laughs> I, as I think I said before, this has nothing to do. I have no idea whether what longevity really means anymore because life is uh, one day at a time and it's a beautiful day I'm finding because of the different activities, the kind of people I'm meeting uh, it, that's in Dara's world. And it, it's exciting and, and something when you get up this, look, I have so much to look forward to that day. Well, when you, when you eat this way, you vibrate at a certain level. You have a certain energy so that people of like energy are attracted to you. So it's just like you get to meet and connect and really see those people. Oh. You can see the love in their eyes. Yes. Right? Alexis, my friend Alexis that I was hanging out with today, he used to not eat this way and all of a sudden started eating this way. And I've known him for four years on Facebook. Facebook, And all of a sudden we're just connecting on the same fun wavelength. And it's like a party. You go out and we go to Whole Foods and we run into other people who are the same. So party days, like we used to know them, are over. This is the new party. I'm adding a little bit more lettuce so we get more green. What okay. do you say? And these have Hooray for the green. flowers in them. I want you guys to know that before I used to serve Herbie a salad in New Jersey when I got there, and I'd make him a big bowl of salad, and he'd just look at it and go, that's too much chewing. So I'd take the bowl, I'd put it in the Vitamix, I'd blend it, and hand it back to him. <laughs> he ate it by soup. He doesn't remember that. Yeah, yeah. But now, now you do. Do you remember? He, now he eats this. He's ha when I serve him a big bowl of salad, he looks at it like, yay. And sometimes what I do for Herbie is I'll add more... Um, hardiness to it by I'll do some walnuts on it and some mulberries mm. and make it a little bit heartier for you to really satisfy. That's because you love me. I, I love, love you so and much. I love you. I, you just make my heart happy. You know, I just, you know, know that being, knowing that Herbie's downstairs, we live in the same building and that he's happy all day, happy as heck, as you said it, it just makes my heart happy. Like I know I'm doing something right. So for those of you wanting to reach your parent, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Neighbors. You know, your neighbors, anybody you care for. I tried for eight years with Herbie and one day it just clicked. So it's never too late to just introduce this stuff and hope that their internal light switch gets turned on. Right. Because you're gorgeous and glowing and I'm so proud of you. Well, I'm proud to be your father. Oh, we're so lucky. Yeah. This is how it's done, you guys, is people get more, I don't say age, it's like more turns around the sun. As they have more turns around the sun, they're wiser and life can get better and more fun. And Herbie's perfect example of that. And for people who don't want to be near, you know, you, you can embrace this time of life. And I feel so comforted that Herbie's in my life and close by. It makes my life better. So not only are we showing how it's done in the raw don't vegan thing, <laughs> we're showing how it's done in family yeah. and have an even better life. Oh, but, uh... That's you. you know, in my wildest imagination, I couldn't dream up a scenario that I was having so much fun, feeling so much good, and having the kind of love that I'm involved in, in where I'm, whether I be in Dara's apartment or my apartment or wherever I go, it, that people, it, it, it's like... Right, you get it, noticed at Whole Foods, you uh, get yeah. noticed at Cafe Gratitude, mm. at Moon Juice, they love him. So it's exactly what I pictured, really. I was like, you got to come out here. It's going to be good for you. It's even better than I pictured. Yeah, it definitely. So what I'm going to do for you, Herbie is cut up a little avocado on top to make it even creamier, more delicious. Wow. We're not afraid of fats for Herbie. It's good for his brain. And isn't that gorgeous? Love your food. Don't cut your avocado with a ceramic knife. It's a very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> Living life on the edge. But my here. famous chef can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Be really careful. So... I decided to get rid of the silverware uh, separator. It makes mm -hmm. it more enjoyable. After I wash the, the silverware, just that throw I can it just throw it all in the drawer. <laughs> it, I don't mind doing the dishes anymore. Ah, wow. <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right, bon appetit, Herbie. Mm -hmm. Look how wow. beautiful. That has my initials on it. <laughs> so, mwah. love yeah. you. We love Thanks. you guys. Get your greens on. Great day. Bye. Great day.